In this chapter, we're going to talk about layer styles. So go into your exercise files for this chapter. I want you to open up Layer Styles 101. Let's just take a little peek at how these things work. Now, what are they first off? Layer styles are something that you add to a layer to give it some, well, you could call it flair, I suppose. Drop shadows, things like that. Over here, I have a couple of examples. Let me move this over so we can see our layers palette. And let me pull that down a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit easier. The first one I've got right here is called Drop Shadow. Now, this is just an introduction. I've already applied them. We'll actually do the application later on in this chapter. A Drop Shadow basically is a small area below the image that looks, well, like a Drop Shadow. The cool thing about layer styles is how they react to the content of the layer itself. They are effectively separate, and they actually work based on the content that is there. For example, if I come over here and go up to the word Edit and go down to Free Transform, and I come over to the drop shadow and make it bigger, you will notice that the drop shadow itself compensates for itself as you change the size. If I were to draw another object into that drop shadow area, the same layer, and we'll come up here and let's change into one of these cute objects, like maybe, I don't know, a lightning bolt, that sounds good. Let's go down here and maybe change our color to something different than black. And if I draw in the layer that has the drop shadow in it, anything I draw in here, We'll have a drop shadow. So there's a lot of potential here for when you're working. Let's go ahead and undo and get rid of that one. We could do things like pattern overlays. Now that's just like this up here, except it has this overlaid pattern on it. My mother always used to say, don't run with scissors. Or we could do a pattern overlay plus a few other things. Now this button right here, see that button right there? That allows me to open up the effects for that particular layer. Once you're here, you can do a lot of things. For example, if you decide you don't want the pattern overlay, you can click that button right there and take it back to the original color that it was drawn in. If you don't want the drop shadow, you get it. You can turn it off. If you don't want anything, you can turn it off right up here. Well, let's say you like the bevel and emboss, and you like the pattern overlay, but you don't want the drop shadow. You don't want to turn it off. I mean, you could, but you want to get rid of it completely. And the easiest way to do that is just grab drop shadow right here, and just drag it to the trash can. And there you go. Layer Styles 101. In the next lesson, we're going to have a little bit more fun with drop shadows. On to the next.